give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. Thank you for this year 2020. Very strange year, but thank you for proving your faithfulness. Many people are not standing anymore. Thank you for keeping us standing. We ask, oh God, that you will continue to strengthen us. This year we end well. Everything that we're going through in 2020, we end in praise. In your various businesses and career, everything we end in praise. Lord, therefore, we, we trust you. We trust you. We trust you because we know you cannot lie. That better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. That the remaining days this year will be better for us. We give you praise. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please join me as we read the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 4. Genesis chapter 49 verse 4. And Luke chapter 10 verse 41 to 42. Luke chapter 10 verse 41 to 42. Genesis chapter 49 verse 4. Genesis chapter 49 verse 4. Unstable as water, you shall not excel. You will excel. Because you went up to your father's bed, then you defile it. He went up to my coach. Now, talking about Reuben, you know, Jacob was telling each of his children what he has discovered about them, how their life looks like, what might look like their hand. When it got to uh, uh, Reuben's turn, he said, Reuben, you are as unstable as water. You will not excel. I said, you, you will excel. Luke chapter 10. Let's join it to Luke chapter 10. Verse 41 to 42. Luke chapter 10, verse 41 to 42. Luke 10. And Jesus answered and said to her, Matter, matter, you are worried and troubled about many things. Verse 42. But how many things? But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good path, which will not be taken away from her. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, we read about Reuben, how his father told him that, look, you can't excel. Why? Why will Reuben not excel? He said, because you are not stable. Amen. He said, you are as unstable as water. You are not balanced. Today, you are doing this. Tomorrow, you are doing that. Next, tomorrow, you are, you are doing too many things at the same time. He said, so, Reuben will not, I mean, sorry. Uh, yeah, Reuben will not excel. Now, it talks about Mary and Martha. He said, Matter, matter, you have been troubled about so many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good path, which will not be taken away from her. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Just being busy is not enough. Legosians are used to being busy. Wake up very early, rush everywhere from one place to another place to another place. Monday to so even some people on Sunday, they are still working. Is it just being busy is not good enough? Just being busy is not what is required to succeed. We're talking about the, uh, the habits of successful CEOs. Successful CEOs, one of the attributes that I'll be talking about this morning is that they are focused on what matters. They are focused on the main thing. They are focused on the main thing. You've got to know what is the main thing and be focused on what is the main thing. Now, uh, Ruben was into so many things, yet it's not, it's not stable. And because he's not stable, the Bible says he will not excel. You will excel. You didn't say amen. You see, you can be busy and not be progressive. You can be busy and not be productive. You can be busy and not be effective. There are a lot of busy people in Lagos. Very, very busy. Up and doing, up and doing. Monday to Saturday, Monday to Sunday. Up and doing. It's everywhere. It's in the Kodumata. It's in Apapa. It's everywhere. It's up and doing. But you see, if just being up and doing is what makes people successful, those who are in my 12 that are sweating more should be more successful. It is not up and doing. The Bible says, says that a man that is diligent in his business. He didn't just say being diligent. He said being diligent in what matter, in the main thing. As adults, we need to understand what is the main thing. 
as people, if you're working anywhere, you need to understand from your employer what is the main thing. Amen. Just being everywhere will not count. You can be busy and not be effective. You can be hardworking and not be productive. And there are quite a lot of people in that direction. You can be running. You can be moving and not be making progress. It is not all movement that is equal to progress. You can do five miles on treadmills and be sweating. You know treadmills? That exercise thing. You can, you can, it can read that you have done five miles and you are sweating, but you are on the same spot. So it's not all movement that is progressive. In fact, you can even be moving around. You may not even be on the same spot. You can even be moving around. But because you have faced... Now, what makes movement progressive is direction. If I'm running, if, if I'm supposed to go to Ibadan, I've said this before, let me say it again. If I'm supposed to go to Ibadan, if I face Ekpe and I'm running, am I progressive? No. Because I've backed my destination. So, no matter how much I run, I'll be sweating. But I'm not making progress. But if I face Ibadan, which is my direction, even if I'm catwalking, that's why you see some people, they are not really working as hard as some people, but they are making more progress. Because they are, they, because, because when it comes to movement, it has to be with the right direction. Are you following what I'm saying? Praise the name of the Lord. You have to be able to, you can be walking in an office and be walking so hard and you are not making progress. Maybe you are calling to, maybe you are employed to be a salesman. And they have given you targets. And you leave the office every day, running up and down, burning their fuel, running up and down, but you're not selling anything. Now, at the end of every month, they're not going to use the speedometer of your car to measure how progressive or productive you have been. They'll just look at your record. How many sales have you made? Abby? Even if you have covered several kilometers, but you have not sold much, they will still not, you'll still not be compensated because you have not made progress. This week, this month, you make progress. I thought somebody would shout a big amen. amen. So what is peculiar about success CEO? you? They are focused on the main thing. They are focused on what matters. They are focused on the major things. Like in this church, there, is, there are some jobs that are main for me. Major. Some jobs are minor for me. Amen. So you've got to be focused on, you've got to be able to separate what is main, what is major from what is minor. If you can't separate your major from minor, you see yourself doing so much, but you're not getting much. Praise God. Oh, you'll be into so many businesses. But when you calculate your turnover, at the end of every year or every month, it's not, it shouldn't be so much because it's not just about being busy. It's about being effective. Everybody say, I need to be effective. So Reuben was everywhere, but his father said, his, Jacob was about to die. And you know when parents are about to give up, they say what they say most important things to them. He called each child, and when he got to Reuben turn, he said, Reuben, maybe Reuben is handsome, maybe Reuben is uh, good looking, have so many other qualities, but Reuben, maybe Reuben is even gifted. But he said, Reuben, you are not focused. So you can be gifted and still not make progress because you are not focused. Because you are doing too many things. He said to matter. He said you are troubled about many, many things. He said, but one thing is needful. It's just like when I was in secondary school. We have this brother in our class. He's the oldest guy in our class when I was in secondary school. He's the oldest guy. If you, come, if you walk into our class, you can identify that this is the oldest man. Because we wear, we wear green knicker and white shirt. And by the time you see him, you know that this man is not supposed to be in this class. He's older than all of us. He's as old as some of our teachers. And he reads more than any one of us. We, leave him, we meet him in class. We leave him in class. Prep time. You know, we used to do prep in my school. Prep starts from uh, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Prep time, he will sit down and read. Some of us are younger. We even run around and play. He doesn't play. No time to play. But he fails more than all of us. So that means he's reading, but the thing is not entering. Or he's not reading what he should be reading. You know, some people just read. <laughs> they just cover out the syllabus and keep reading like a journalist. And read and read and read. More than library. 
And there are some people that are younger, but they know where to read. They've studied the trend of result, uh, uh, questions. And so they focus on few subjects and they clear the paper. So he, this man I'm talking about, this brother used to get angry a lot with us. He used, to, he used to hate some of us because he reads a lot and he fails a lot. <laughs> it will not be your portion. You won't walk like elephant and eat like ants. You are not saying amen. amen. You will do what matters. You will focus on your major. Amen. It's just like in university too. Courses are different. Some courses are four credit load. Some courses are one credit load. What does it mean when you fail all your four credit loads and you pass all your one credit loads? The person that passed four credit load course, he has passed like four courses. Courses, the, each, it, that, that course is four credit load. But one credit load, you're having A. Four credit load, you're having F. That is exactly what is happening to many people. Ruben was very hardworking. We didn't say, they didn't say he wasn't moving, but he was very unstable. May God bring stability to your life. Successful people do not know everything and they don't do everything. Please, if you see anybody doing well, a CEO who is doing well, don't think they know everything. Most successful, they don't know everything. They don't even do everything. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to do everything. You know, in the, on the street, they say, uh, jack of all trades, master of none. That will not be your portion. Some people will just know, they know everything. They do everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A pastor came here one day on a, on, a, on a Tuesday and he met crowd upstairs and he saw this crowd. He called me and said, Pastor, I want to see you. I said, he said, where am I? I said, I'm not in the office. I'm in the church. He said, what are you doing in the church on Tuesday? You're supposed to be in the office. I said, we're having a meeting. So he came here. He saw crowd. Ah. He said, what are these people doing? He said, who? He said, who are these people? I said, they are farmers. He said, farmers. They borrow this place to use. I said, they are all our members. He said, so what are they doing? I said, they are waiting for the people from the Ministry of Agri. So it, it took, we took ourselves to the glass room, the upper room. Mr. Asher, he was there. Then he got, he got angry with me. He started fighting with me. We were childhood friends. He said, there are things you are not telling me. If it is prayer, I pray more than you. He goes to mountain a lot. He goes to mountain a lot, a lot. You know, there's nothing wrong in going to mountain. But my bedroom too is a mountain. My office is a mountain. One day he went, New Year, he was on mountain till around February. Before he came back, all the members have run away. <laughs> There's nothing wrong in prayer, but you need to know when to pray. Abi, early part of the year, when members need their pastor to teach them the direction of the year, he was on the mountain. He came back February. When he came back, everybody had disappeared. He told me by himself. He was the one begging them. He said, ah, muti de. Ah, I'm, <laughs> I'm bossa. Is it wrong to pray? No. But you can pray in the wrong direction. You can be praying in the wrong direction. You can be praying at the wrong time. There's time for everything. Am I correct? A, a very effective pastor, before the year runs to an end, all the, blueprint, all the blueprint for the new year, he has prayerfully collected them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So January comes, he, he hits the ground and he's running. 